Hey guys, it's Robin, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new and happy May. Today I have got a continuation on the series I started last month where I take you through 10 bars in the catalog that are currently available that I think might work really, really well for the month of May. So at, before I was doing just melting baskets of my own basket, I often have things that aren't currently available in that basket. So you'll still continue to see those in my what I've been warming videos. But as for recommendations for you guys, I thought it'd be more helpful to recommend things that are currently available that you could actually get your hands on right now. So I have got 10 catalog bars here to recommend to you guys. And then a couple honorable mention items that are currently available limited time offerings, but they are available for the month of May. So here we go. We'll kind of jump in. Four of these bars I don't have on hand right now, but I think are good bars for May. Before we do that, I just wanted to give you a little heads up on a couple housekeeping items. So it is now May. The Mental Health Awareness Collection is now available. We also have the new Whiff Box available. The new Whiff Box is a pretty good one. It's got a summer limited time offer product in it. So you get that early. It's also got a limited time like exclusive product that no one else can get unless you get the Whiff Box. So it's a good value this month. It looks like a good one. I ordered that one as well. And I will do a haul of that when it, when it arrives. Um, also coming on May 6th, on Monday, we have the Father's Day collection launching. So if there's anything that you want from there, that will be available on the 6th on Monday. And we will just kind of jump in now. So the bars here, there are a couple bars here that I don't have on hand, um, but I still think are really, really good May bars. So the first one here is Berry Bright. The reason I don't have a bar of Berry Bright on hand is because I just warmed mine not that long ago. So Berry Bright is kind of a fruity, I think there's orange in the notes, maybe some kind of berries. I feel like it's like blue raspberry scented basically. It's like a very sweet kind of candy blue raspberry scent. It's so, so nice, so fruity, so fun. That one is perfect for this time of year when you want something fruity and bright and kind of lighthearted without being like super, super summery. I think Berry Bright fills that gap very nicely. The next one on my list here is Sun Kissed Citrus, which is kind of the classic Scentsy orange scent. That one is orange. It's got, I think, I think it might have mango as well. It's got lots of different citrus notes to it. That one is kind of a sweet orange. I would call that kind of a candy orange, kind of reminds me of like an orange jelly bean. So it's not a super, super sharp or tart or zesty citrus. It's more of a sweet citrus. So if you're into that, this might be a good month to warm that because I feel like it might be a little bit too sweet once we get into the hot months when you want something kind of more refreshing. But I feel like if it's May and it's not super hot yet, that sun kissed citrus might be a really, really nice one. The next one I have here is Clothesline. Now I'm gonna put an asterisk next to this one because I personally can't warm Clothesline. That one is too strong for me. If you need a strong open layout worthy bar and you tolerate floral laundry scents quite well, you gotta get Clothesline. That one is very, very strong. It's a fantastic performer. It's just very, very, it's too strong for me. I get headaches from those types of scents if they're too strong and that one is for me. So the asterisk is, go is going to be Clean Breeze next to that. If for some reason you can't do clothesline, Clean Breeze is a really, really beautiful alternative. The only reason it didn't make my list this month is because I recommended Clean Breeze in April and I didn't want to duplicate scents for the month. So clothesline slash Clean Breeze, depending on your preferences. Um, clothesline is more floral, more classic traditional laundry, whereas Clean Breeze is more sweet line dried cotton type scent. Um, either one is beautiful and I think either one would be beautiful in the house with the windows open and that is why this one got put in May. Because I feel like by the time we hit June, July, August, it's too hot to have windows open. And so I feel like these clean laundry scents do well with like an actual movement of air through the house because it just makes it feel more authentic. So for that reason, Clothesline got May. Clean Breeze got April because it's a bit lighter. But either one, I think they're interchangeable for the like kind of late spring months. So Clothesline or Clean Breeze. The last one that I don't have on hand right now is Lake My Day. This was very popular. It was a new release last season. This one has, I think, bergamot. It's got a bunch of like clean, kind of clean, watery notes to it. Also has a bit of a masculine edge to it as well. So if you are into like, not, I wouldn't say it's cologne but I would say it's an, a little bit of an edge masculine. So if you like those types of very fresh, kind of outdoorsy scents, Lake My Day would be a good one for May. And the reason this one got put in May and not June or July is because I feel like by June and July, we're kind of reaching for those more almost tropical or oceany type scents more. And I feel like May is when we start kind of like, you know, going camping and going out in the woods and doing all those kind of outdoorsy things because it's warm enough. 
And so Lake My Day, I think, fits that very, very nicely. So Lake My Day gets a May mention. The rest are ones that I have here with me. One of them is Summerberry Melon. Now, this is the brick from last season. The brick is no longer available, but you can get the regular sized bars of this in the catalog right now. So Summerberry Melon has like, I think, I smell like raspberry and some type of watery melon. I don't know if it's watermelon, but it's, it's watermelon or maybe honeydew, something like that. Um, this is a nice balance now of melon and berry. This is just kind of very nice early summer. I wouldn't say this is tropical. This is just fruity and fun, and that melon does make it lean just into a little bit of summer. I really, really like this one. Now this one, when it first came out last year, I was very on the fence on. I thought it was just okay. As this has sat, I've really, really kind of grown an appreciation for it. And sometimes that happens. I like this much better than I originally did. And I found the performance on this much better after sitting for a while too. So do know that if you get Summerberry Melon, it's lovely. And if you let it sit, it's even better. So Summerberry Melon gets a mention. The next one we have here is Squeeze the Day. I feel like this is the last time to really do Squeeze the Day because I feel like Squeeze the Day is such a house cleaning scent. This is a scent that you put in when you're cleaning your house, windows are open, and you're doing that spring cleaning, like heavy duty spring cleaning. This is that scent. Clean Lemon. It has a hint of vanilla cream that comes out later in the warm. So once you're like relaxing and you're finished cleaning, you're gonna smell more of that vanilla cream. Um, but for the first while, this one is just very sharp, astringent lemon. Very, very clean and zesty and it's almost got like a, it smells squeaky clean. <laughs> Yeah, so there's that one. Good performer, really nice. And I think again, May is kind of your last shot at the spring cleaning because once we get to June, it's no longer spring. It's just cleaning at that point. So if you're finishing up spring cleaning, squeeze the day is a good one. The next couple I have here are bedroom options. The first one is Evening Sky. This is a new release this season. I can't remember the notes on this off the top of my head. This is a cuddly cozy, slightly perfumey, slightly powdery floral with a hefty dose of maybe vanilla, something kind of smooth and creamy, like rounding it all out. There's nothing sharp about the perfumey tones here. And when I say powdery, it's not like baby powder or anything like that. It's a very soft kind of sweet powder. This is a very, very pretty scent. Perfect for a bedroom. That is probably the only place I would warm this strength wise and just because the scent smells like a bedroom scent. It's really pretty. This I think you would want to warm this month when the evenings are still cool and then put it away until August when the evenings start to cool off again um, and then pull this back out. This is a really really pretty one and I will make a point of warming this this month because I really like this one. Yeah I need to warm this again. Really like that one. So again before it gets too hot once once we hit warm weather season this is going to be a bit too heavy I think but for May when the nights are still cool beautiful bedroom scent. Evening sky. Next up here, we have Black Raspberry Vanilla. Now this is the dressed up packaging for the Black Raspberry Vanilla Scentspirations collection. That collection launches May 13th. So you'll be able to get it in this kind of packaging along with four other bars that are kind of mixed remix versions of Black Raspberry Vanilla. Um, this is just the original that I'm referring to in this video. So the original is Black Ra or Dark Berries Vanilla and a bit of Musk. I don't think Musk is in the notes, but there is Musk here. Um, this is a light medium type scent. I would say probably best for smaller spaces or bedrooms. Um, really pretty. Again, kind of lends itself to bedrooms because it does have that kind of perfumey musk quality to it, but you do have these very feminine, very vanilla perfumey tones. It's really, really pretty. This type of scent is just a classic, just a classic. And again, I think it lends itself well to this time of year when we're not quite in full hot weather mode but we're also out of cold weather mode because this one to me doesn't really fit cold weather mode. It's a bit too fruity for that. I like to lean into the really heavy scents for cold weather, but this one I think with the musk notes is just a little bit heavy for like June, July, August. Maybe August would be okay, but I feel like this one is perfect for like the spring months. So May I think is a good time for this one. Yeah, very, very pretty. And because it is available in the Scentspirations of this, of this month, I had to throw this one in as a mention as well. So that's Black Raspberry Vanilla. Next up here we have Moon Orchid. This is another new release this season. This one, I can't recall the notes. I think there was Orchid. I feel like there was, 
it was floral tones and this is a floral bar it does have some perfuminess to it as well um i would say if you're not into floral perfumey scents this one might be one to avoid but this is very pretty very very pretty perfumey floral if you like those types of scents you're gonna like this leans it leans towards bedroom type scent to me just because i think it's strong enough to carry a larger space but for me it just kind of leans bedroomy in in the way it smells so for that reason i would recommend it for bedrooms and again i think it would be too heavy once it gets hot out so again may is kind of like your last hurrah for this type of scent because it is going to be too hot i think after this to warm this one and enjoy it i think it would be very stifling in a hot in a hot weather um i think in august you could pull this back out again as well once it cools off this would be a beautiful fall transition scent actually but i think it's a beautiful spring to summer transition scent as well so moon orchid really pretty bedroom scent for this time of year and then finally we have bamboo and rainfall another new release this season but i had to mention this one this month this one is perfect for may this one is very very strong if you need an open layout worthy bar bamboo and rainfall is very very strong very long lasting I think if you liked Summer Rain, which was a Bring Back My Bar a while ago, you'd probably like Bamboo and Rainfall. The, the rain note is similar. This one has the addition of that bamboo and a lot of like green leafy tones to it. But I think if you like the rain note from Summer Rain, you're gonna like Bamboo and Rainfall. Yeah, it's a good one. This is fresh and crisp and green. And I feel like that's just kind of May. Like it's early, early summer before it gets all dried out and hot. Um, this is kind of that crisp, lush summer smell when things are still green and lovely. So there is Bamboo and Rainfall. So I will run through those again really, really quick. We had Berry Bright, Sun Kiss Citrus, Clothesline or Clean Breeze, Lake My Day, Bamboo and Rainfall, Moon Orchid, Black Raspberry Vanilla, Evening Sky, Squeeze the Day, and Summer Berry Melon. So those are the 10 that I would recommend for May. I would love to know in the comments below what you plan to warm this month. So what kind of scents do you like to warm in May? Do you have any specific ones in mind that you want to warm or do you just kind of go by your mood? I tend to do a bit of a mix because weather wise it kind of varies here because we had snow the other day. So we still have cold weather but we also are getting into warmer days as well. So it's kind of that transitional time where it's kind of weird warming time because you don't want the summer bars yet, but you also don't want like winter ones either. So it's that transitional time. So I think these are really good transition bars that I just presented. And I think that's kind of what works well for my area. If you live in like Texas or somewhere, it's probably full fledged summer already where you live, in which case I would love to hear what you warm during this time of year. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what things are like in your neck of the woods and what you plan to warm for May. Other than that, hope you guys are having a great week and I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.